<laughs> You're just screaming so much. Right now. Oh my gosh. Yeehaw! There's so many of them. It's crazy. Oh, he grabbed it. Fish out. Fish out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. So I'm fueling up my boat right now because we're about to head offshore, but there's a helicopter that keeps flying around here and it's spraying mosquito control spray, whatever it is, into these mangroves here, apparently because of the dengue fever outbreak. Is that what it's called, dengue? Take that, mosquitoes. Anyways, fueling up right now, and then we're gonna head offshore. We're gonna do a little bit of trolling, and not only that, but I'm taking some subscribers offshore, so you know it's gonna be a good time. There's the ballyhoo. snap and just like that we're out here on the reef's edge we drove out right off the coast of key largo and we're in about 17 feet of water and we're drifting put a chum bag out waiting for the ballyhoo to show up we got cj and we got cj's dad topher <laughs> I, almost, I almost said porter <laughs> probably because i want to drink a porter right about now yeah. no it's a beautiful hot sunny clear day so we're gonna try to get some ballyhoo right now and then we're gonna head straight offshore towards the isla Morada humps and then once we get to the isla Morada humps we're gonna start trolling around we're gonna troll plugs ballyhoo weedless squid rigs try to get some mahi yeehaw yeah yeah ballyhoo on the boat Good work, man. Almost got them all in the bucket. It looks like a messed up mullet. <laughs> they are being tricky. Is there one or more? I think it's pretty good. We got a couple dozen ballyhoo and we ran off to the reef's edge here and now we're in 200 feet of water. I want to go deeper for the mahi, but I saw some birds around here. So we're going to troll, where are they at? We're just going to put back some of these weedless squid rig, the black and purple and the silver glitter. Troll those about 100 yards behind the boat and we'll see if maybe we can get some tuna or something here in 200 feet for a deep drop bait later. Come in once we get to the leader. Oh, Whoa. oh daddy, look at that. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, yeah. Hey, you like in? Um, yeah, if you bring them. Woo. Oh, my yes, God. Sir. Nice. Good work, Good guys. Job, Woo. <laughs> no, not like that. Uh -uh. Beauties. Oh, yeah. They're still hidden back there, too. Those are perfect deep drop baits. Boom. Black and purple. 
Woo! We have a silver glitter. Yeah. All right, both rods ready. There's tuna behind the boat. They should strike any second. Come on, come on, come on. Bam! Fish on, fish on. Double hook up. Double hook up again, Double hook up again boys. Oh, he's pulling. I tried to drag a little bit and he's still pulling. Oh yeah, that's good. Big boy's pulling. <laughs> oh, I see him way out there. That's dark. Look him in, huh? Yeah, ooh, big boy, big boy. It, yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, That's man. a big one. Oh, oh yeah! Man. I see some color. Once I get the leader, I'll flake him on in. Woo! Yeah! Yes! Good oh, work, good work. Boom! Boom! Oh, wow! Oh nice, he spit it. Perfect timing. Yeehaw! Oh yeah. That's a good boy. I'm good. But bam! And we got four bonitos, which is actually perfect because we can use those as deep drop bait. And we just ran out to the Isla Mirada Humps, so we're in about 500 feet of water out here at the Isla Mirada Humps. Many times when you're deep dropping, mahi will come by the boat. So what you wanna do is you wanna have something like the mahi pitcher, which is basically just a nice fat J-hook with a chunk of bonita on a rod ready to go. Have a nice pile of cut bait. We got cut bonita, cut ballyhoo, all sorts of cut bait. So if the mahi do come by the boat, we just chuck them on out and try to chunk for the mahi. Let's see what we done get on now. Yeah. We got mahi behind the boat. Grab, grab that rod. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Chuck it out there. Oh yeah. <laughs> My, oh. Oh, oh, hold on, I got you. Nice, that's a good one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Flick him on the boat. Woo, that's a keeper. All right. Um, it's it's kind of knotted. Okay. Um, put put a chunk on the weedless squid rig and chuck that up. We need to we need to get these guys quick because they don't stay around too long. I'm working on. It. Oh my God, there's some big ones down there. Yeah, I'll put that on here. You got him. Nice! Fish out! Fish out! Heads up! <laughs> He's pushed in alright. Bam! I'm on too! <laughs> oh, uh, you don't have to set the hook on them too hard because they just swallow it whole. Yeehaw! There's so many of them, it's crazy. Oh yeah. Throw him on, he's the keeper. Woo! Yeah! On the weedless squid rig. Bam! Woo! Woo! Oh, he's a keeper. He's a good one. Yeah, sure. Yeah! Haul them on in! Yeah, get them all you can. Just unhook them, throw them. That's a big one. How do I get this off? It won't come off. So you just grab the shank and just freaking unshank them. Oh. Okay. I've been using this piece of bait for three fish. Boom! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Yes, sir. Oh, he is a good one. Yeah. Come on, get in here. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, nice. Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo -hoo! Right. You don't have to set the hook too hard on them because they literally just swallow. Oh, it. You it, just right. have to tighten up on them. Yeah, um, once they grab it, let them run with it for a second. Yeah, and then it kind of lets them put the hook a little bit deeper in their mouth. Oh, I'm on! Get in. Ooh, that's a big one right there. Yeah, let them... So when they grab it, I keep your bail open so they can swim with it in their mouth. And then, um... I like this color. Oh, we have a blue this? Is that blue Damn, this rod right here is... needs to go. That was a nice I jump, a yeah! Oh, he's cool. Nice! That's a keeper. Oh yeah. Oh, he grabbed it. Fish over. Fish over. He's bossing it. Oh, oh you got a second one trying to eat it. <laughs> Come on, baby, baby. Oh, this is a good one. Woo! He's like file hooked or something. Yeah. Oh yeah. Jeez. Oh my gosh. I know. What the heck? My feet are getting wet. <laughs> oh, I'm on! Oh, oh, jeez. It's fine. I got, I got. Boom! Oh yeah. Fish out. Get him. Yeah. Oh yeah. Come here. Oh. He feels like a good one. Looks like a good one. <sighs> or he's just a feisty little one. Yeah! Whew. Oh man. I think we might have to do some clean. So put him in the box, regroup, and then get back at it. Right. Woo! Dang, just like that. Freaking mahi everywhere. Time to put him in the ice box. Oh. Oh. Not me. Oh. Yeah. Nice. So, but yeah. Let's put them on ice. Grab them all. They are slippery. Gotta kind of grab them to kill. Oh yeah. They are some funky looking fish. <laughs> They're so slippery. Oh my gosh. Wow. We might actually have a full cooler. Nice. You're the man. Right. More mahi on the boat. They're everywhere. Got a mahi right there, whole bunch back there. You don't even gotta troll the weedless squid rig. Oh. oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. This is a big one. This is a good one. That's a good one. Yes. Come to Papa. Oh, there's another one behind him, CJ. There are two of them. Oh yeah. Get in here. Come in. Oh, nice! Woo! Double hook up! <laughs> yeah! Oh, man. Woo! Round two, baby! This is round two! Yeah! Oh, oh, oh I'm out! I'm out! Fish out! Fish out! Woo! 
<laughs> this one's jumping real good. <laughs> it's kind of nice, actually. It feels really good. Yeah. <laughs> Bam! Another good one. He might be a keeper. Woo! Yeah, he, I he think he's a keeper. keeper. Yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> that was a oh, good. Sweet. Oh sweet! Oh! That was a good jump right there. Yeah, boy. Well, the rate you're following this guy. Yeah. Oh, I guess I need another jump. He looks good, doesn't he? Alright, was he good? Oh. oh my god! That one right there looks yeah. nice. Wow, look at all the mahi. Oh yeah, there's a big one right there. Oh, you get it? Yeah, they can see that though. Oh, oh, oh! I got one. Yeah, mahi own. I love how like this guy's just like, I give up. Yeah, yeah, all right, come on, take this. He's a small one. It's probably a second time being caught. Yeehaw! <laughs> Coming to daddy. Ah, crazy man. Yeah, he's he's definitely too small. Yeah, I probably have a few days like this a year. Yeah, so it's probably it, Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a good. Caitlin's gonna be super jealous. Cause I went out with her pro this year probably like ten times already. We've caught one mahi. No. Yeah. And it's her favorite fish, so she's gonna. She's gonna be sour. She's getting her RN right now. Okay, yeah, nice. Yes! Bam! Got him! Woo! Feisty, feisty. Little peanut. He gets to go back to freedom. Oh, yeah! Ooh, he looks good. Oh, and he looks. Oh, no! Oh! Yeah! Yes! Oh. oh, he's small. He's small. Wow, he looks Short. a lot bigger underwater. Oh. Boom! I'm on! Yeah, you go under you. Oh, yeah. Oh, he got off faster. Wow. He got off. We started catching a handful of peanut mahi. Basically, a peanut mahi is a mahi under 20 inches. These are mahi that we have to throw back. Since our cooler was already full of fish, we decided to call it a day and head back to shore. <laughs> so, a little unfortunate news. With all those mahi splashing around, I got my Sony NX camera extremely wet through this whole fishing trip. And now that I'm editing the footage, none of the audio worked. So I'm basically just going to fill in what I was saying here. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Well, hello guys, that was a great fishing trip. Look how pretty it is. It's dark now. There's a sunset behind me. Boy, is that, that's a pretty sunset. We got fish in the box. What a great freaking day. Hey, CJ over there. How was your day? Oh, Heiko. It was awesome. We caught fish. I had a great time. That's awesome to hear, CJ. I had a great freaking time also. Let's fillet these fish. Are you ready to fillet all these fish? Yeah, Heiko, let's do it. Okay, cool. <laughs> I hope that impression worked. We ended up laying all of the fish on the bow of the boat and got some really cool footage of it, but all that footage somehow got deleted or never recorded. I don't know. My camera is acting all sorts of crazy ever since it got wet. I guess that's the story of my life when you bring nice camera equipment offshore to get some fishing footage. But here's a picture. We got all the mahi laid out. What a great freaking time. CJ told me he's never filleted a mahi before, and he's never caught a mahi before, so I kind of show him a little bit how to fillet a mahi, and we spend the next hour or so filleting all the mahi that we had caught. We filled up almost two 
full-sized gallon Ziploc bags with just pure fillets, no skin, no bones, just pure meat. And I don't have a fillet station yet at the new house, so we just turned the back of my boat into a bloody mess. Anyways, let's go to the kitchen. What a trip with CJ and his dad, Topher. We filled up like if, like I think almost two full gallon Ziploc bags of mahi fillets that they brought home to their family. So enjoy that, have a good cook. We're gonna do our own cook right now. We took a little bit of the mahi. Caitlin and I, we're going mahi fishing in like tomorrow morning, so we didn't need to keep much mahi. This is our batch of mahi right here. And we're gonna do a little something, a little something flaming, flaming mignon. Before we start cooking this interesting meal, I gotta give a huge shout out to our fan, Mr. Fungus. I hope that's your name, Mr. Fungus. Sent us a letter on our live stream. I was I was saying Antigua, Antigua mm -hmm. but it's really Antigua. Wait. Antigua. Antigua. It's Antigua, not Antigua. But anyways, he was on our live stream and he said he was gonna send me a bottle of Antigua. Antigua. A bottle of Antigua rum. Wait, he actually wrote me a letter on how to say Antigua. <laughs> Antigua. I'm one day I'll figure it out. But anyways. Huge thank you, Mr. Fungus, for this bottle. I'm gonna try it right here, right now. He said it's good on the rocks or mixed with Canada Dry Ginger Ale. And I don't know if you guys guys have noticed, but... Kitchen's a little different. We're in a brand new kitchen. We're in our new place, and... Um, you got anything to say about that, Caitlin? Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, the new place is amazing. It's been like a long time coming. I feel like it doesn't feel real every time I wake up. And yeah. Whoop. Ooh. Smell good. What, what is this? It's an Antigua rum, aged five years, Caribbean rum, distilled in copper stills, matured in small oaken barrels, product of Antigua. What is it, a rum? Antigua I, rum. Oh, of course, Antigua <laughs> rum. Duh. He hasn't had any yet, guys. Ed, check this out. We got an ice maker. Wow. The little things. Like, that's pretty amazing. You just get ice out of the fridge. Didn't know people did that. <laughs> I didn't, that's a thing? So I'm gonna try some on the rocks here. Good. You know rum is good if you can drink it on the rocks, so let's find out. Give it a little swirl, let it get up to temperature for me here. You know, you wanna let the water kind of mix a little bit into it if you're drinking it straight on the rocks like this. All right, I don't got no more time to wait, here we go. Ooh, that's easy to drink. You wanna oh try gosh. some? Not like that. Thank you, though. Okay. You enjoy. So, this is what we're gonna do here today. We're gonna fry up some mahi. We're gonna do a little something special. So, to do this, you add a little bit of flour. We'll break an egg in there. Pop! Take a little bit of beer, too, and we'll just give it a little boom. And stir that up. Make a nice batter, basically, with this. I think we could use a little more beer. Make it a little more, yeah, there we go. You don't want it to be thick like pudding, but you want it to be kind of watery. There we go, I think that's perfect. Put that to the side. And we got Caitlin's favorite, flaming Hot Doritos, right? Or, so good. Flamin' Hot Nachos Doritos. I put some in a bag here and we're just gonna crush them up. Put them down. Karate chop! The whole house is shaking. Mm. You almost want to turn it into like a powder. 
You just want to crush it a lot. Here we go. Start with a nice piece of mahi. And then get it nicely battered and drop it on in there. And then that's what we're left with. Oh my gosh. Woo -hoo -hoo. I'm gonna go and do that to the rest of these pieces and we're gonna throw it in the oil. Lights, camera, action. Mmm. Uh, Mr. Fungus, you did it good. Look at that. Holy holy, holy shamoli. You know, watch Oak Island. We got our our um, fire Cheeto Nacho Doritos encrusted mahi. We're just gonna drip it into this hot peanut oil here. And we'll fry it for, I don't know, maybe just until it looks done. Wow, look at it turning red. Do you see that? The oil is turning red. One more. There you go. All right, these bad boys have been um, frying for five minutes now. And... I think they look pretty good. Nice and crispy. Oh yeah, yeah, they're done. Five minutes, five minutes and done. Oh wow. Look how solid they are too. All the crispies are like completely solidified. Okay, cool. So we're gonna let these dry off. I'm gonna finish frying the rest of them and then we're gonna give these bad boys a taste test here. All right, look at these freaking pieces of meat. And you know what, this time, Caitlin's gonna have the first bite. <laughs> Not me, Caitlin's gonna have it. To our subscribers' requests. But before we eat that, I'm once again gonna do a shameless shout out, even though it's not for me this time. That's a lie, I'm gonna shamelessly shout myself out in a second. But CJ, the, the kid that was on the boat today, he makes these bait boards baitboards.com. It's a really simple concept. You just, if you're going kayak fishing, you're going bridge fishing, you're going beach fishing. Um, I always see people cutting their bait like on the concrete or cutting it in the sand like I do, but these bait boards, you just clip them to your bucket, like to a five gallon bucket or something, and you always got something to cut bait on. These things are pretty awesome. I actually have been using it on my boat since my mag, mag, Magma? Mm -hmm, magma. Magma cutting board. My magma cutting board broke on me. So I've actually been using this. There's a couple different sizes. So you can get these on bayports.com or I'm actually gonna be selling them on SouthForEfficientChannel.com if you wanna get them on there. You pick your poison wherever you wanna buy them. But if you're gonna be on SouthForEfficientChannel.com, you might as well pick yourself up some of these weedless squid rakes. This is the silver glitter color that we caught so many mahi on. We actually caught most of our mahi on the mahi pitcher rig, and then also the black and purple weedless squid rig, so those are all available on there. I'm gonna link ev all of this. It's gonna be linked in the video description below, so feel free to pause the video, go down there, do some shopping, I don't know, maybe pour yourself a glass of Antigua rum and go buy yourself some stuff. Uh. Come over here, Caitlin. It's time to take a bite. What you should do is like take a big piece and break it in half so the camera can see it. The insides? That's what I mean, like, because I feel like, yeah, we want to like see I the, need like a. The insides. Good juicy piece. Look at this guy right on top. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, it's looking good. That looks like mahi. It looks like mahi. Oh Looks I'm, like mahi. I'm like super excited about this. Yeah, I'm really excited too. I'm kind of jealous of you right now. Oh my god, you're always there. It's like straight steaming though. You like just put in your mouth. I'll blow on it. Blow on it a little bit <laughs> before you put it in your mouth. It's 
Is it edible? It's like super crunchy and good. I'll tell you what, like, there's, like, the flavor is not there, though. There's no flavor? There's, no. No salty. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's no salt. Mm-mm. Mm. It doesn't really, it just tastes like a good crunchy, like, fried fish. I was expecting, like, this spicy, like, it's still good, though. Is that weird? All right. So take, I feel like take this camera. Take. I, I feel like I was like a super, I did was like a super like critic. No, no, like, it's but. good, it's good. You gotta be critical sometimes. Moist critical, those that know will know. Here we go. You're right, you wouldn't know that it was fire nachos. Mm -mm. It does taste really good though. It does, yeah, like I love like the crunch, the crunch is so good, I like, the, I like. Mmm. I like that. I like that base. Wow. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't like, like a soggy, like, breading. This is, like, good, like, crunchy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. I think in terms of fried fish, this would be, like, right up to there in the 8s, 9s, and 10s. Right. But if you're expecting a spicy, crunchy Dorito taco thing, yeah. Did not that's not there at all. Yeah, it does not do that. Mm -mm. Kind of um, good to know, though. I've been wondering this for a while. Mm. So good, though? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Wow. Absolutely. Really good. We're not completely barbaric. Come here, look in the oven. Oh, oh my gosh. We actually have sides cooking. We got sweet potato fries and broccoli and, and whatever. So Caitlin and I, we're gonna put this, put this food on a plate with sides and with sauces. We're gonna eat like normal human beings. But that's a wrap. That's what the fish tastes like because that's all you guys care about. <laughs> and, um, Thank you for watching. Hit that like button right now. Right now. I'm waiting. I'm just going to close my eyes and... Well, no. If you're not going down and pushing the like button right now, I literally see you and I know who you are. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. We got a new episode coming out real soon. Cheers, guys. <laughs>